The Golden Heart is awarded by a committee of recent Golden Heart recipients. Their decision is reviewed and approved by the National Board of Directors. Both boards observe rather formal criteria and rules. One such criteria forbids the consideration of individuals holding certain current positions of responsibility in the fraternity. But then there are times that one must tear down that box to do what is right. Being good sig ups tonight, we're breaking the rules to do the right thing. Recall all of those good things said about Brother McKenna. Well, he too had a grand mentor who also has been a grand lawyer. In fact, many of us, both alumni serving the fraternity as well as undergraduates, have benefited from your wise and honorable counsel. You display a moral compass of the highest order. For almost one half of our fraternity's existence, you have provided sound advice and good legal counsel to our staff, our national board, and our brotherhood. Some in our fraternity fight the fat frat boy image. Others promote sound mind and sound body. You have planted your flag and ours on the elimination of hazing. You fight hazing not just because it is illegal and could damage our chapters, but to prevent the harm it inflicts on our young brothers. That is so like you to stand up for the rights of those. After guiding our fraternity through its most difficult years, you left the private practice of law to serve the citizens of the state of Virginia as judge. Very few citizens can stand up to the demands of the public and the public scrutiny to be held out as a judge. Your courage and wisdom have been publicly recognized. The news coverage regarding your election as president of a college fraternity brought nationwide attention to our principles and ideals and the balanced man. We are grateful for your courage because you stand in public not only as a respected judge, but as a sig -out. You have publicly given your name and your sacred honor to our fraternity. You're the second grand president from Virginia Alpha, second only to our founding president. You wept when Virginia Alpha was rechartered. You have well and truly served our fraternity as grand president. Like so many sig -ups, you bring your family to our fraternity, a family not jealous of your time spent with us, but a family passionately supportive of our brotherhood. We are grateful to them, Elaine. Elaine Yates, would you do us the honor of escorting Brother Yates to the podium, our most recent Order of the Golden Heart, the Honorable Archer L. Yates III. I haven't cried this much in a long time. <laughs> this has been a very emotional uh, uh, week for me, as, as you all have observed. I, I don't know what to say. I, I really, for maybe the first time in my life, I'm almost speechless. Uh, I, uh, I, I thank you. I thank you for the opportunity that I've had to, to serve you. I am gratified that my family is here with no one knowing Elaine just said she was as surprised as I was. They were here because I was going out of office and I wanted them to be with me. 
Um, I said when I was elected grand president that I would stand and look at the pictures at Zollinger House of the past grand presidents. When I was legal counsel, having no idea whatsoever uh, that I would one day be in that position myself. I have come to conclaves and I have been present when these other men who've been recognized here tonight received the Order of the Golden Heart. <clears throat> and what, what they have done for this fraternity over the years and the contributions that they have made to young men's lives uh, makes mine pale by comparison and I am truly humbled to be now in their company. I said to you today, I think it was today, <laughs> when you had the resolution honoring me at, on the floor of the legislature, that the reason why these men gave today more money, these some couples, more money than the foundation had raised in its 100-year existence was because they had faith and believed in you as undergraduates and believed that you understood what we were about and what we were trying to do. And you should be very proud of that. The families of the Spelling Bee recipients were absolutely blown away today by what they observed. And I've always said that if we could get everybody to a conclave, we'd never have any troubles in Sigma Phi Epsilon. I am proud to be a SIGEP, and I thank you very much. <clears throat>